Good day, fellas, and welcome to my second episode of my Ultimate Iron Man on Anoxus. So as always, we'll be doing a bond giveaway. If you want a chance to win, just like the video, comment your username, and be subscribed. Now, for this video, um, I was thinking about rushing burrows, actually, but there are a few um, sort of things stopping that. So, um, yeah, I think... Once I get like 70 defense, I kind of want to go for the, the burrows, but obviously I'm going to need prayer and prayer potions, but um, yeah, I really want to just get a uh, rush slayer and just like combat and only do skilling when I have to, which will pretty much just be for um, food and potions, so thieving, farming, um, fishing and cooking should be all I really need, herb law obviously. Um, yeah, I really just want to get straight into PVM, uh, I'm not that interested in skilling, it doesn't really benefit me at the current time, the only uh, thing I can think of would be getting fletching for a magic short bow, but I could do something like crazy archaeologist and just get a ring crossbow that way, but anyway, let's get into it. The prayer portion is quite simple, um, I've done this a lot of times on actually old school and also, um, dead men maybe, or just new accounts in general. Uh, basically, I'm just going to be safe spotting these blue dragons. Um, they were very generous with the starting pack, so I didn't have to buy any runes, and I may as well use them to clear some inventory. Um, at least get rid of the lower tier ones. Um, but yeah, this is, I'm just going to do this. I don't know how many I'll need, but just enough to get um, overhead prayers. Um, whether I risk it at the Chaos Altar or not, I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. I could... Um, do what I did last episode and put my stuff at the in the thing that I got prepared, then I will lose everything. Um, but yeah, we're just going to safe spot these for a bit. I did, really don't think it's going to take long to get overheads with this XP rate, and it is quite chill and AFK. Um, I could just do green dragons, I guess. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter what to do, but these are chill, no risk or anything, so going to do this to get the overhead. I'm thinking when it comes to um, not having, there's no bank, so like what I was thinking with the burrows is if I can get a um, decent, I can get like a tank body and legs like Torags or Guffins or Darox, um, it would be a very good gear setup to pretty much be wearing all the time. So. I'm thinking uh, it sort of could be a good strategy. Um, as soon as I get like 70 defense, if I can do burrows, get some tank uh, armor, I should be good to um, just grind Slayer, really. Um, I could do fishing and note the food. I can get my potions. Uh, I really just want to do be combat-oriented, uh, avoid the skilling besides the, the necessities, because... Um, it's just going to be tedious skilling and there's no real there's a lot of skills that i really don't need to do at the moment they're just not um beneficial right now with my strategy um i've already got the weapon i need so i really just need to get the armor and just grind slayer uh the only issue i see is obviously all the drops i'll be wanting to keep with slayer it's going to be really hard i'm going to have to actually learn a bit of inventory management are we going to YOLO to the altar? I only have like six, but I just need more inventory. <laughs> um, so I did get the Slayer box. I don't want to see that. Okay. Um, some more inventory space I don't have, but I kind of want to keep that. Unless the Iron Man shop sells them, which he might. If he sells them, I'll drop them. He does not. Um, damn, that is a. Uh, I don't want to keep that, uh, uh, but it's good if um, I can get secondaries from Slayer. It'll save me a lot of time. But yeah, we're going to go to the Chaos Altar. Um, the, I don't know, honestly, I'm on a pretty high XP rate. It might get me close. Oh, I literally almost got two tapped by the Chaos Fanatic just then. Um, that was very, very rough, actually. I've seen a couple of PKing accounts at home, but I really doubt they're going to check here at the moment, but 
It is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was easy. Easy overheads right there. Probably gonna get smite, honestly. Yep. <laughs> you gotta just you just gotta love fast XP. Bro, it scales so insanely ridiculous with prayer. Because prayer is already a fast skill, even on uh I think people can get like one mil XP base if you do it with like the highest bones and efficiently. So like if you've got a like a server and you've got um a high XP mode, like it's just ri absolutely ridiculous. Your prayer just ends up being your highest skill just because of the insane XP scaling prayer has. Um, but yeah, that's crazy. We have overheads already. Um, that is a very nice step into our plan. So the next step is I need to make some money. The other thing I want to yeah, I hope this guy doesn't attack me. The other thing, is it the crazy arc? I think it might be. Let's get out of here first. Or I check that. I think it is the crazy arc that drops the rune crossbows, right? Um, you drop tables. Uh, I could just search for a rune crossbow, but crazy. Crazy archaeologists. Um, yeah, two uh, one in one hundred and eight though. Damn, that is that could be a grind. Oh, he drops prayer pots as well. That would be nice. Red dehyde body. Um, still probably gonna do this. But um, yeah, I need to get the Ivans first. So what we're gonna do is. Check the shop one more time. We didn't actually look at the prices of some of these items. They might be... Okay, that's only 25k. This is only 30. I need to make some money. I might do some thieving so I can buy the Ivans. And honestly, we could probably do a couple of uh, crazy arch kills and just bank every time we run out of prayer, maybe. Okay, so thieving has actually got... I don't know if it's every NPC, but I'm getting 600 per thief just at level one. Yeah, I'm thinking this this is gonna be the way I make my cash. This is it. Oh, this is gonna be so quick. Um, as long as all NPC, I'm sure they do. But um, if the NPC scale, then I'm gonna to assume pickpocketing is actually amazing purely for cash. So yeah, we're definitely going to stick with this. Um, I need to get thieving for the Master Farmer anyway, but at the moment I just want to make cash to buy a few items. That's actually crazy. I didn't expect the thieving to have better rates in terms of coins, but it is actually an amazing money maker. Definitely recommend that one as an iron. Um, you also get these skilling boxes. I'm going to shoot. You definitely probably get them from every skill. Um, I'm wondering what's in it. Okay, that's a uh, more inventory, but yeah, that's about what I expected from them. Just some noted supplies. Um, what are we doing? We're in the wrong area for this. But yeah, this this literally took like five minutes, and I got fifty thieving. But whenever I need cash, I know I can do that now. Um, so I pretty much have an endless supply of rooms. Um, but what we want is the Ivan's star. By that. Go and we need um get your runes here as well, even as iron, which is great. Need the fire runes. So yeah, we are well on our way. Um we can do a lot with this Ivans actually, not just um arrows. Uh we can do a lot of anything that can sort of be safe spotted or it's just crazy damage in general. Oh my god, what did I... Dude, I did one crazy arc. You can buy prayer potions from here. And cinemas. And they're so cheap. Oh my god, I found the gold mine. Dude. <laughs> I can buy that. I can just do combat. That one KC got me... Six prayer pots. Oh my god, I have found the gold mine. Dude. 
Thank you. God bless this. Oh my God, bless this shop. Dude, this shop's amazing. You can get anti-venoms. Okay, wieldy content is it. I, I don't I don't care about the risk. This is amazing. I should, I wonder if uh, wieldy slow gives blood money as well, if it's just the bosses. Oh my God, I can do this changes everything. <laughs> okay, um, so I will be doing these crazy art kills for the ring crossbow. I might just um, I still might go for the magic short bow instead. I could let me check that blood money shop again. Actually, did I have a magic imbue scroll? No, I didn't. Um, I don't even really need. I just need a ranged weapon for Arams. So. But maybe Dragon Skin might work if I got my melee stats. I think I might try that because it's just Arams. You can mage the rest of them. Um, and now that I got prayer pots, pretty much, um, I will have to look into if Wildy Slay gives the blood money as well, or it's just the bosses. But I want to be going to crazy up anyway because it's basically free prayer pots once you get the blood money. Um, so yeah, that is that has really helped. Like, I'm glad this worked out. I should be able to do burrows in the next episode now. Um, what I will do is I'm going to AFK for a little bit just to get 60 attack and then I can arc the rune skim and that gives me another inventory spot because as you can see my inventory is all over the place. So yeah, we will, um, these guys aggro. Lucky. Um, I wonder, wonder where I can find something aggressive. Eh, it's not that bad. They got 100 health. Won't take a long. Um, but yeah. Get 60 attack, that'll get us an inventory space.